Hey guys, Shan here in the North View Model Shop and tonight we are going to talk about taking the risk out of using a new or unknown paint system to you. Guys, this is a trick I learned from the great Dr. Cranky which wipes out all the anxiety of using a new paint system or a paint system you haven't used in a long time. Guys, we are using the enamel aerosol pre-mixed factory code Tahitian Green from Napa Auto Parts. We are using our sandable primer from Dupacolor and we're using a Dupacolor clear. We've never used this clear before and we have never used the Tahitian Green uh, enamel from Napa. So this is an unknown adventure for us. How to take the risk out of it. Do you go right in, work on, spend hours cleaning this body up and then spray down your primer, spray down your color and drop your clear and have an absolute disaster pretty well rendering the kit useless. No, what you do, and this is the trick that came from Dr. Cranky, which has made our life so much easier, is utilizing the polystyrene plastic soup spoon. Yes, guys, these are the big soup spoons that you can get at the cafeteria, at the, at the restaurants, at work, giggity giggity. You just have to go grab these, go buy them, do whatever, these are a great, uh, analog for a polystyrene car body. Uh, it gets a complex curve. The the uh, curve of the spoon allows you to get control of the paint. The paint's going to flow. It's everything that could go wrong is going to go wrong on one of these spoons. That is how you can use this spoon to feel out how this paint sprays and how it works. You also find out will this paint react with polystyrene. It's really, really great to do it this way because we didn't know if this would eat out the plastic or not. So we tested just straight paint on the spoon. Everything turned out great. So we are going to use this paint system. So we grabbed some styrofoam because these spoons stick in there real great. And we laid down the gray primer. We also laid down some dark gray primer as well. And then we ran with the Tahitian green on top of that. Guys, we knew at this point how everything sprayed. We knew what we were going to be working with and we knew that this paint wasn't going to react with this primer. This paint and this primer were not going to eat the polystyrene plastic, which is huge. We really needed to know that. We also went ahead and sprayed just some straight Tahitian green enamel right to the spoon to see how it would react didn't eat the plastic. So it takes all that anxiety of, am I going to ruin this very expensive model kit on with the paint? No, we did learn this paint comes out quite heavy. So we do know now how we're gonna have to feather ourselves as we're using it. So that's a good little trick too. Also, as we go forward, this is the Dupacolor Clear. We've never used this before. So now we have our spoons all done up where we can spray this clear, learn how this clear works, and is it going to do what we want it to do before we even put a drop of paint on this body. So by the time we're done this practice with the spoons, we know exactly what this is going to look like when we start. This is also really great because we will get into polishing these spoons out with a Novus 2, a Novus 1, uh, a Meguiar's polish, how is this clear going to react? Another good practice to do is when you spray this body, spray another group of spoons at the same time with your primer, with your paint, with your clear. That way, this body can go in your cabinet. It can be left alone and untouched. And these spoons you can leave out. If you want to find out if that body's dry, grab one of your half dozen spoons you've sprayed and mess with that. It's better to mess with a spoon you're going to throw away then start picking and pawing at this body that you could possibly ruin. So guys, I hope this trick that we learned from Dr. Cranky will someday come and play and help you guys out and save a lot of stress, anxiety, and frustration by first using and testing on the plastic soup spoon. Guys, if you enjoy what you're seeing, check us out on Instagram, hashtag Northview Model Shop, or head over to the Northview Model Shop Facebook group and join in discussions. All right, guys, adios.